Welcome back to another update with the city manager. This is Jim Palinick, our Middletown city manager, and I'm Shelby Quinlevin, your communications manager for the city. And today we have a couple updates for you about some various things. Uh, one is the vaccination for COVID-19. Uh, we, as the health department, are going to be vaccinating all of the public who are interested in having it in Middletown. And we have a new website that people can pre-register for that. So you want to describe a little bit about that and what people can do to, to get pre-registered? Absolutely. Um, of course, so many citizens right now are very concerned about uh, vaccination and how do you get it and who will be first in what order, etc. So we've set up this new website and the goal is to consistently update it to give them as up-to-date information as we can right. so they understand where we are. So the state literally every week changes their priorities and how much vaccine is allotted. So what we're asking people to do is to go to the website, pre-register so that we have your information so that as soon as there is availability for vaccine within whatever classification you fall in, we'll be able to expedite that and to contact you and to make sure we know who is looking forward to it and the information that we need for it. So uh, the key is, you know, be patient. Uh, everybody's going to get it. Every Monday, for the most part, the state of Ohio gives new allotments. Our public health department, along with, frankly, pharmacies, healthcare providers, and others, even some of the grocery store pharmacies, will be getting certain allotments. Right. So we're going to do everything we can, but the best thing for people to do now is to go to the website, get the information there, and pre-register. Right. So that website is COVID, C-O-V-I-D, period, cityofmilltown.org. So it's available now and you can pre-register all of your information if you're interested in that vaccination and you want it from the City of Milltown Health Department. So the next thing is, changing gears a little bit, um, our paving levy passed in November, uh, which we're, we're very excited about and we have been working very diligently That's to right. have a plan put together and we've been doing our research and our data um, collection. So what is next and how are people going to get updated about that? Again, we've got a website. A website so All the websites. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, the goal is to really keep everybody updated as to where we are in the process. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we've done an awful lot of due diligence. We've been working constantly, basically, since the levy was passed. And that includes a lot of research and effort in terms of doing actual pavement cores where we go out to all of these various street sections that are going to get repaved and or rebuilt mm -hmm. and physically take a core so that we understand the quality of the sub base, the quality of the pavement, and what has to go back in place so that we'll be efficient when we do it. They're also doing ground penetrating radar through all of these sections, which again will give us much better data when we go to use this essentially $33 million to repave all these streets in the community to use it in the most efficient manner possible. We've also been doing a lot of work on the financing side so that the bonds that will be passed will be done in a way such that we, again, use the money to the fullest extent possible and keep the cost as low as possible. So all of this information will be on that website. They will know, you know, when the work will start, what areas, what sections will be done in what order. So again, if you have a desire to know kind of where we are, what's going to happen and what the timing is, go to the website. All right, so that is the same website that was being used previously for the information for the levy. So that is MilltownStreetLevy.com. So that is being updated constantly. We're going to have some video and some photos and a timeline of when things are happening. We're going to have maps up there as soon as we are ready to announce what streets are going to be paved. And we'll have um, updated stuff as it continues throughout the 21 and 22 paving Project. So we're very excited. And Shelby, if I could just tell citizens as well, they're going to see an awful lot of work during the course of 2021 and 2022. Right. Really, once we get started, it's not going to stop for those two years. So we just ask for their patience. Uh, we're going to get a lot of work done that's going to really improve the areas in and around the community. So please be patient with us, but you're really going to like the results when they're done. So when can people anticipate the paving to actually start? 
this uh, year? This year, 2021, as soon as the weather allows. So typically we would think of a construction season starting probably late April mm -hmm. and into early May. So we would fully expect this year as well for that to be the case. All right, so spring is coming soon. Exciting. So the city council has been working uh, diligently about some boards and commission appointments over the last couple um, council meetings. And a lot of people don't know how to actually participate in the city government. And this is definitely one way that people can um, share their interests and what's going on and get a little better perspective of what city government actually does. So can you tell people how they get involved, what boards and commissions we have out there, and uh, what that looks like? Sure. I think if someone is interested in any regard in their local government and want to have a say in what happens, mm -hmm. and particularly when you have interest in certain areas, be that in the parks, or in recreation, or in the airport, or the police department, uh, or planning and zoning, things like that. We have a number of boards and commissions that wind up providing advice and consent to the city council and assistance on certain areas within those areas of expertise. And that is a really good way, number one, to sort of understand what goes on in your local government, to help us as a volunteer, and to be part of the policy-making process. So if you have a particular concern about an issue, say, with the parks, we have a parks board. And we look to those folks to come up with the kinds of answers in terms of what should we be doing in the future as to either expanding or improving on parks or doing things different with regard or adding in recreation or whatever. If you're interested in the airport, there's an airport board mm -hmm. that basically governs and provides advice and gets involved in some of those issues. There's a citizen's advisory board to the police department. So right now we know many people are concerned or involved with, want to talk about how the police department should do their job in relating to citizens. Is there a need for reform? Well, if you have an idea in those regards, you want to participate, you want to offer thoughts to the public, you know, there's a citizen's advisory board. So the key is please get involved, get in touch with the city, find out where you can volunteer your services, and then become involved on in one of these boards and commissions. And oftentimes, you know, the people who serve on these boards and commissions over time become the people who become the leaders of our government. Right. They wind up on city council. Yeah. So, you know, if that's an idea as well, please get involved early so then you'll know so much more about local government because you will have been involved, you will have done it from the inside, you'll become part of policy making, and you might have that chance then to become our next leaders, and we look forward to that. Yeah. So there's an application on the City of Milltown website, which is cityofmilltown.org, and then you fill out the website, the application on the website, and then it gets approved by council, and then you are on the board or commission. So it's a, a good process, and we look forward to some new faces being Absolutely. part of our uh, local government. And, you know, because there's quite a number of boards and commissions, and sometimes it's rather difficult to get people to volunteer, there's a really good chance, if you're interested, you will wind up being appointed to one of these boards and commissions. So... All the websites is what we have for the update today, the covid.cityofmiddletown.org, uh, middletownstreetlevy.com, and cityofmiddletown.org if you're interested in an application for those boards and commissions. So until next time, we are Shelby and Jim, and this is Updates with the City Manager. Thank you very much.